What's up? My name is Technobe here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to properly manage all of the programs and services, etc., that start up with your computer, because in a lot of my guides, optimization guides, and things like that, I'm telling you how to turn off things when you start up your computer, such as through the task manager here, the startup tab. You may think this is everything, but it's really not. If you've ever been here before, you've probably noticed that after disabling possibly everything here, sometimes things still start up when you log into your computer that could slow it down or of course just generally be unwanted. How exactly do you manage those in a simple way? Well, this video is going to look advanced, but it's incredibly simple to follow. Why is that? Well, it'll look very confusing, but as long as you read what's on the screen, it should be simple to understand. The absolute best way to manage processes, services, etc. that start up with your computer is by downloading a piece of software from the Microsoft SysInternals suite, an official Microsoft product called AutoRuns. In the description down below, you'll find a link for this software here. It should be the latest version. All you want to do is look for the download over here and then look one link down. Run now from SysInternals Live. Click this here. It'll download the latest version and you can click on it to open it up. But instead, open the folder that is downloaded to right click it and choose run as administrator. Once it's open, you'll be absolutely bombarded with information and it'll take some time to load. Don't worry, I'll be breaking this down as simple as possible. At the very top, we have some settings, options, some buttons. You can ignore all of these for now. What we're interested in are these tabs over here. You'll be dropped into the everything tab by default, which is all of these other tabs combined. What we're looking for is the logon tab at the very top. This contains services, shortcuts, programs, anything that's run when your computer logs in, and you'll see a bunch of different entries here, such as the registry entry for run, then another one for run, this time an H key local machine instead of current user, an alternate shell installed components, and another run folder over here. Basically, when you're going through the Windows Task Manager, you only see these over here from H key current user run. Everything else on this list here starts up with your computer, including, say, Riot Vanguard, and you're not able to turn that off through the Task Manager. That's in fact hidden as it's in a different place. Task Manager only checks one. How do we use this? Well, of course, you can select something and delete it, though I really wouldn't recommend that. What you're going to want to do is click the tick box on the left hand side of any of these here to turn them off. When it's unticked, that means that it won't start when your computer logs in, and if it's ticked, that means that it will. So, Battle.net, I'll obviously open that up manually, so I'll untick it here. Discord, I'm fine with that opening automatically. Flux, the same. Download Manager, I'll turn this off. Keypass, I'm fine. NordVPN, I'm fine. Overwolf, I'll turn this off. And already, I've optimized my startup. Scrolling down further, you can see more entries on your computer, such as, say, Riot Vanguard. Being an intrusive anti-cheat, you may want to turn this off, though do note that if you try and launch up, say, Valorant, for example, you may get an error. All you have to do is tick it here and re-log into your computer or restart it entirely. Yes, that sounds like a lot of work, but if you're someone who doesn't play Valorant, for example, turning it off here can save you some extra headache. It's one less thing running. And of course, if you're worried about spyware running at the kernel level or anything like that, your worries can probably be forgotten as we've turned it off. Once you've gone through and unticked everything you don't want starting up automatically here, then there's nothing else you really need to worry about. The only thing I would ignore is the alternate shell, the install components section, as well as this install components section over here. I'm not too sure what disabling these does, but having all of these ticked, these don't seem to start up when Windows starts up. But of course, if you'd like to mess around, you can try seeing what these things do. Me, I'll just leave them ticked and running happily. With that done, that's everything that starts up with our computer automatically on the user side. You can, of course, check scheduled tasks, for example, and inside of here, you'll see programs and services that are automatically running on your computer. Everything in yellow is missing from your computer. Red may have other issues. And everything other than that are tasks that run on your computer at specified times. At the very far right, you should see timestamps for when these run or when they were last run, and you'll be able to turn things off here, such as say the Adobe Acrobat update task. I don't use the software, but it's on my computer, so I simply untick it here so it doesn't update. Of course, some of these are not a good idea, 
But if you know you don't update software, for example, you can untick it here so that it can only update when you boot it up, for example. It's not going to be automatically checking for updates in the background while you're playing an important game or something. Then, having a look at the Services tab at the very top, you'll notice that this looks very similar to the actual Services Explorer we can get to by typing Services in our start bar. Though, the only difference is this has nice icons to look at compared to the normal Windows one that doesn't really have much of anything. Once again, everything that's ticked is enabled. However, if you untick it here, it's not only changing it to not start up with your computer, it's also disabling it entirely. Meaning that if you boot up, say, Adobe software here, it won't be able to start the service that it needs to run. So you can use this to locate programs that automatically start up on your computer, etc. Though don't disable them here. Hit start, type in services, and open the actual services explorer here. Then locate what you're looking for, double click on it, and if it says automatic for startup type, or it says automatic in the startup type column over here, you can change it to manual to only start it when the program needs it or disabled it to turn it off entirely, though I wouldn't recommend that. Alternatively, you can only use the services window here, sort by startup type and just run through things here, seeing what starts up with your computer. When you find something you don't want, double click and change it to manual. Now, finally, this is for the advanced people, the drivers tab over here. Now, I wouldn't recommend ticking or unticking anything in here that isn't already set because you are messing around with drivers on your computer. If you see something here that you recognize as something you don't need, such as, say, leftover from games, bloatware, etc., you'll need to either go ahead and uninstall the software that put it there in the first place or Google how to remove the driver from your computer. Now, once again, this is very advanced and most of these here won't have too much of an impact on your computer unless they're doing something malicious. Other than this, there's a boot execute column at the very top. Though I haven't seen anything in here. You may have something in here. I'm not too sure what would be in here, but if you see something, you may want to go ahead and Google it to see what it is, what it does, and whether it could slow down your computer. Same goes for the win logon tab at the very top here. It's empty for me, but it could contain things that the logon over here doesn't. Anyways, with that, this video is now complete. You know how to take complete and total control of programs, services, and everything that runs when you log into your computer or start it up. Hopefully you should get even more performance out of your computer, knowing that you've cleaned it up as much as possible and nothing unnecessary is running on it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.